Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV. This is where we talk about everything that's music related. I got another bomb episode for y'all. But before we begin, hit that like button, subscribe button, share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chain. If you'd like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Malcolm US. Also, check out the website, 250gemstones.com.co. Mm hmm. This, I've been waiting to do this ever since this song came out. Usher and Kiki Palmer. The song is called Boyfriend. Have you heard it? Have you heard? I saw the video. Probably the most disrespectful things I ever saw in my life. The disrespect that Kiki has for her ex and the disrespect that Usher has for this nigga, too. Before I begin, I just would like to say, Usher. Usher warned you people about bringing your girl around me. Don't believe me? Let's go to his, uh, his other song with uh, Ludacris and Little John. Hold on. The thing is called uh, You Don't Have to Call. And we're just going to go over the intro. We're just going to go over the intro because it's, it's very critical about what he said. About the warning he gave to you men out there, you wimps and simps out there. <sighs> the intro. Don't leave your girl around me. I'm talking about Kiki Palmer's boyfriend. Or ex-boyfriend or baby daddy. And why everybody keep calling her ex-boyfriend? That's her baby daddy. Uh, I'm about to dive deep. This video might be a little bit long. Well, no, I'm I'm, I'm keeping it regular time, regular time. Don't leave your girl around me. True player for real. Ask my nigga for real. For real, the producer, the the producer for real from the Neptunes. Um, and he says it twice in the intro. Don't leave your girl around me. A true player for real. Ask my nigga for real. Us uh, just that nigga, right? He's a nigga. He's an R&B singer, but they most of them R&B singers are niggas too. Ruthless, out for themselves, will step on your toe to get what they want. No regard for anybody's uh, feelings or consideration for anybody's well-being but their own. This song was probably better than this diss track that Kiki Palmer and Usher had for her baby daddy. And that's what it is, baby daddy. A lot of these sources are only calling him her ex-boyfriend. That's not her boyfriend. That is her, the father of her child. So what they're trying to do with the media before I dive into these lyrics. What I found out is that when black women cheat, they say it's a positive when black women cheat. Anything to hurt a man, anything to belittle a man, especially a black man, anything to disrespect them, they're going to support it. That's why a lot of Kiki Palmer's uh, friends, they supported her and her shenanigans. Because it's all to hurt the black man. It's all to embarrass the black man. But when the black man cheat, and he cheats a lot, oh, he must hate his mama. He must hate his sister. He must be on the down low. He's a dog. He a bitch. He's this. He that. He a F boy. They don't want to refer to him as a father for a child because then this story looked pretty bad. Wait, you have a that that would mean if she refers to Darius. As her, uh, what you call it, the father of her child, then looks she looks kind of classless, right? For doing what she doing, freak dancing on Usher. In the video, she's dancing all, she's dancing with Usher. She's singing this nigga song. She's, there's a part of the video in the beginning where she's with her homegirls having a sleepover, and she's singing Usher song. So I wonder, does Kiki know that her? Um, her family is seeing this. That Darius Jackson family is seeing this. Maybe at this point she don't care. But what's what's disturbing is that they keep referring to Darius Jackson as a boyfriend. That's the father of her child. Because, like I said, if they say, well, that would be her family. That's a mother doing this. This woman has a family at home. Why is she 
free dance on the usher and she has a family at home. Whether the family is going through an issue right now, whatever, whatever's going, going on behind them doors, it's the family, right? So, especially the black queens, they will not refer to him as um, the father of her child, her baby daddy. They won't even give him the nigga the baby daddy title. But here's another thing. The black queens were actually clowning her boyfriend talking about he shaming her body. Kiki Palmer head really got bit. Now, the body did her good, but they used deceiving language and deceiving perspectives. We're not talking about her body. We're talking about she's a mother of a little child. She has a family, and she's going out the house half naked. One thing I learned about this generation, people lie. There's a lot of deception out here. So she's out twerking half naked with Ur Usher at his concert. And then she goes out and makes a song with the nigga, which means they exchange numbers. Now she has contact with this nigga. Freaked on the nigga. Now they have contact with this nigga. Meanwhile, she has a family at home. And now she's she making a video with the nigga to put in their love affair on display. Then in the video, like I said, she's singing one of Usher's old song, You Remind Me of a Girl. You Remind Me. Let me see. We won't get into these lyrics. Give me one sec. Because this is this is this is um this this is this is bigger than Kiki. This this is the black community. If you want to see what's going on in the black community, just look at what Kiki and Darius Jackson going through, and look look how black queens. Hold on, y'all. I beat my alarm. You see that? Let me see. So this is by Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones, one of the biggest mag magazines, and we're finna get into the, the lyrics. I don't know why I'm stuttering today. Still waking up. When Usher serenaded Kiki Palmer during his Las Vegas uh, residency last month, the moment set a sector of the internet ablaze. It was actually Palmer's boyfriend at the time. See how they referred to him as his boyfriend? Darius Jackson, who struck the match when he tweeted to complain about her sheer dress and black bodysuit. That is not her boyfriend. That is the father of her child talking. And, oh, the, the black queens in the comments all over Twitter. Who is Darius Jackson? Anytime a black woman is successful and her boyfriend is unknown, they, they're going to really get on the, um, the guy. They're going to really get on him. And... In our community, the black woman is held above the black man, whether she's right or wrong. That's all I just wanted to say. So she, Kiki is wrong for doing something. Like I said, people in my comments talking about, God, I covered this story. Not from the into the lyrics. I didn't even know they made a song together. But it's disturbing how they, how they justify it with these wild justifications. So I'm like, oh, it's a money grab. It's a money grab. Well, she's talented. There's other ways to get money. Go get some damn real estate. How about that? So you would rather embarrass your family for a bag, disrespect your, your baby daddy, the father of your children? That is not her boyfriend. That is the father of her child. She has a family, and she's out here acting like she's single. And that's the truth. They don't, they don't write it like that. So let's dive into these lyrics. Kiki's still fine, but... uh. Hey, it is what it is. These people ain't making me no damn money, so. It just, uh, like I said, this was going on in the black community. If y'all wondering what's going on, black women are held as a, uh, are held up to the clouds above the above the black man. E hell, even above the children. Don't give a damn about them damn children. Them black queens that was uh, supporting Kiki Palmer. Don't give a damn about these, uh, the children. It's all about the ego. It's all about the ego and uh, the self-absorption of the black woman. That's what it's all about. Usher, this is the chorus. Somebody said that your boyfriend's looking for me. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, he should know I'm pretty easy to find. Just look for me wherever he sees you. This is better than 50 Cent versus Ja Rule. This is this is probably this is up there with hit him up. Somebody said you he's what well, he's saying she's talking to uh 
her baby daddy saying, hey, your boyfriend's looking for me. Not just uh, Kiki Palmer's baby daddy. All you baby daddies. I'm Usher, right? They say he sold over 75 million records. Number one on the Billboard charts. I'm Usher. I've been doing this a long time. I'm known around the world. What do you do for a living? I work at Amazon. Damn, just move to the side. Let me, let, let me get your hoe. Let me get your bitch. Let me get your baby mama. That's what he's saying. Somebody said your boyfriend's looking for me. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. He should know I'm pretty easy to find. Just look for me wherever he sees you. When he's saying I'm always with your old lady, I am always with her. I'm always waxing that ass. I'm always blowing her back out. I'm always blowing her mouth out. I'm always taking her out to eat. I'm, she's riding around in my AMG Mercedes. She might, uh, I might let her drive the G, the G wagon. Which, what are you driving? Usher is that nigga. Usher, Usher, Usher's that nigga. He, he told you another song. I'm a player. I go wherever you go. I go wherever you go. Verse one, first verse. Turn the lights on. It seems natural for me to wander off where you are. In your head, since I'm not in your bed, daydreaming about me, trying to be on your best behavior. Talk, talking about Kiki, trying to be on your best behavior. She, she can't be on her best behavior because the man that she with is nowhere near Usher's level. All the girls want Usher. Usher got the bag. Like I said, I mean, it's a superstar. And most of these niggas work at a warehouse, probably, even if you're a doctor, it's you making... 125,000 a year. An anesthesiologist can make up to 300K. Let's say, say, say you make 200K a year. Balling. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but you, you don't make millions a year. 200K. Usher, if he goes on tour, he, uh, uh, a four a four month tour, let's say, how long, how long usually tours last? Tour, let's say four. Let's say a four month tour, four or five month tour. J. Cole, I don't know who's bigger, J. Cole, Usher. I think Usher's a little bit bigger than J. Cole. I could be wrong. Cause, yeah, I'm going to say Usher's bigger than J. Because Usher's been here 25 years. J. Cole's only been in 10. But the years are, man, let's, let's just say Usher's bigger. Let's just say. J. Cole made $5 million off one tour. $5 million off one tour. That's chump change in the music world because Ed Sharon. Hold on, how much did Ed Sharon make? Let's see. And yeah, don't believe me, y'all go look up clutch um, clutchpoints.com. Um Oh, who's this? Ed Sharon, seven hundred. No, 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 that can't be right. Seven hundred seventy-six million. Oh, it's for five years though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Oh my God, that is right. Seven hundred and seventy-six is Ed Sharon Divide Tour. Ed Sharon Divide Tour. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. Ed Sharon, Dubai tour, record breaking. The British singer, the British singer songwriter achieved an overall gross. This this be before he pays everybody. Seven hundred and seventy-five million dollars from eight point nine tickets sold on six continents. So you a doctor, right? <laughs> ah, you a doctor, right? And you make an uh, anesthesiologist is one of the top two hundred k. This man made seven hundred and seventy-six million dollars on six continents. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, I, I just brought up J. Cole because J. Cole made $5 million in like four months. Usher 
is that nigga Usher's a superstar too. He can sell out shows across the globe. So it's crazy. That's how women are. That's how women are. And and, and Usher knows that. Trying to be on your best behavior. Kiki can't be on her best behavior because this is Usher we're talking about. Loving me on the low, which means she's letting, he's letting her baby daddy know. She, me and your girl been texting. Me and your, me and Kiki, we've been rolling around here. We've been, uh, we've been doing it big, and we're gonna put out a little fling. You know, she's my sneaky link, or I'm her sneaky link. Whatever the case is, we have a lot more in common. And this is another thing I saw about Kiki and Usher. Kiki Palmer, they have a lot of similarities. They both love music. They both love the arts. They both love to dance. Um, they're both talented. Entertaining is their world. Music and dancing is what they do. Her boyfriend, I don't know what he does, but I don't really think she resonates. She, uh, her boyfriend, uh, her boyfriend, I'm starting to sound to me, her, her, the father of her child doesn't stimulate her like Usher does. There's no, mm, like, this person get around, they, like, they understand each other, and that's even more dangerous. She has some common ground with a superstar. I mean, what you gonna do? And he said he's a player. He's, he's waxing Kiki. He is waxing, waxing Kiki Palmer, and think about the little baby. I don't know how old the little baby is, but the little baby asking, where's mama? Where's mama? And imagine the little baby sees her mother on TV, mama, mama, mama. She gets, you know how kids get excited when they see their parents, mama, mama, mama. You know, it just seeing their mama on TV, just like how we see our relatives on TV. Let's imagine that a baby seeing their mama on TV. Like TV is everything. TV and tablets is everything. The movement on the screens, everything for a baby. Then for a baby or a little small child to recognize their mother on TV, it's just magnified by 10. The baby seeing this. But the black queens won't say nothing. The black queens won't hold her accountable. Hey, says, I, that looks, this looks real tacky because you have a family. Whether your family, whether you uh, are happy with your family or not, you still have a family. This, this is the thing in our culture too, in black culture. A woman can do whatever she wants. Once once she can justify her hurt, that she's hurt, she's a black queen. Once a black queen can justify her hurt, even if it's outlandish, disturbing, or whatever the case may be, once she can prove that she's hurt, she can go out there and do what the hell she wants. The chains are off, the gloves are off, clothes are show. She she she's a damn near renegade. She can do whatever the hell she wants and she's she is no longer held to a standard. She's no longer held to um responsibility. You know? Once she feel oh he hurt me and uh, he's not making me happy, now she can go thought it up and there will be no accountability like I said because she's hurt. She's doing it out of hurt. She's not happy. It's all about her. It's not about her child. It's not about her, the father of her, uh, her the father of her child. It's not about her family. It's about her. She needs that justification. She needs some type of justification. And this justification was he didn't like her wearing scantly outfits. That's why if a girl's dressed like that, just leave her alone. She's number of problems. Let's see. The taste of your thoughts, I can't wait until it's over. The taste of your thoughts. Hmm, I'm trying to see what that means. I'm going to need help on this lyric. What you trying to say, Ush? I'm in your head. I'm not in your bed. I'm going back to the beginning. You just imagine daydreaming about me. So what he's saying is, Kiki Palmer is daydreaming about him. She's been wanting him for a long time. And I believe that... <laughs> Excuse me. I believe that's true because, like I said, the moment she got close to him, she's about to, she's about to give up, give up the box on the dance floor. He had another song called "Making Love in This Club," and he had a remix with Beyonce. Hey, this is who Usher is. So I'm gonna need help. The taste of your thoughts. I can't wait until it's over. Then it goes back to the chorus. Somebody said that your boyfriend's looking for me. That's cool. Well, he should know I'm easy to find. Let's see the second verse. I try my best not to be all in your phone, but I know that's what you want. So I think what he's saying is whether we're face to face, what I'm getting from the song, whether whether Kiki and Usher are face to face or they are apart, they're always together. I try my best not to be on your phone. Well, how can you not be on her phone? You a superstar. 
See, that was another subliminal jab at the uh, at the the baby daddy. Even when she's with you, talking about when Kiki Palmer is back with her family where she should be, he's still in her phone. This is why he said, but I know that's not what you want. Oh, okay, that's not what you want. So what he's saying is, he's a superstar. He's always on the move. But she wants him face to face. So what? Like so, same thing. What I'm saying, whether they're face to face or Zoom or wherever, the billboards, he's everywhere. But I know that's not what you want. You want me close, face to face. You want me grabbing on them big chocolate gel. You want me grabbing on that big behind of yours. That's what you want. Might as well keep some pictures of us in your home. Another disrespectful line. You don't. If you're creeping around somebody, I don't think it's wise to take a picture with them and put them in your home, especially if we have a family. I don't think it's wise if I say I'm dating Maria and I'm cheating on her Maria with Cynthia. I don't think it's wise for me and Cynthia to take pictures and I'm gonna put them bitches in my damn home. Usher showing his arrogance right here. Usher is showing his player skills. Usher, because women want to be dominated. Women love a man that can take control of a situation. Women love to be used up. Most, when, I don't know what it is, like, good guys don't know how to use women. They don't know how to manipulate women. They, they like to be manipulated. They expect it. He manipulates her. He's toxic. Women love toxic men when they say they don't. Might as well keep some pictures of us too in your home. Why would she do that and she got a family? Usher is toxic. Usher is arrogant. Usher is experienced. Usher, he's, he's a full package. Ain't no D writing. I ain't writing a nigga. I'm just saying I'm trying to show, tell the world, men and women, this is why you don't bring your girls around certain good, certain dudes. And he warned, like I said, another song, don't bring your girl around me. Usher knows he's arrogant. Usher know he got the swag. Usher know he's a full package. Do not bring your girl around me. And like I said, he's experienced. He's been doing this for 30 years. He knows women. When you slow dance by yourself, I'm right behind you. Spray my fragrance on your skin. It will remind you. This is one of the most disrespectful songs. So what he's saying is, when you slow dance by yourself, I'm right by. So in her head, what he's saying is um, she thinks about him so much, she can envision him being right there. Wherever wherever she is, he is with her. Even though they're not physically with her, this is what Usher is telling the baby daddy. Even though I'm not physically with your girl, I'm with your girl. One more time. Even if I'm not physically with your girl, when I'm not physically with her, because I'm on tour, I'm doing these things, I am still in her mind. I am still in her thoughts. So even though you guys are laying together, she's not even thinking about you, nigga. She's still thinking about me. This is why when you slow dance by yourself, I'm right behind you. Meaning, when I'm away from, when he's away from Kiki Palmer and she's dancing, his presence is so strong. She knows she fantasizes about him being behind her, holding her, and they slow dance together. She, he is always on her mind. And he's telling that to the baby daddy. I'm, I'm always on your bitch mind. You could be even you could be blowing her out right now, and she's still thinking about me. This, this, this I told you he's toxic, and women love toxic men. Spray my fragrance on your skin; it will remind you of me. He said, "Spray my cologne on you. Let that nigga know you've been with me." Usher don't care. Home recognized nigga. Usher said, "Spray that spray." My fragrance on your skin, on that beautiful black skin. And she's still fine now. Kiki Palmer's still fine. Spray my cologne on your skin. Make sure that nigga smell me. Why would you have a... <laughs> this man said, we should take a picture and put it in your home. I'm always on your girl mind. And you get to smell what my cologne smell like. Because my cologne will be all over your girl. Man. Of the time... Stop spray my fragrance on your skin. It will remind you of the times we linked up and the nights we dreamed of. This man got wordplay. This man, this is a, oh man. I know her baby daddy looking stupid. All the black queens jumped on him when he comments on her dress. Is she, 
in our community, especially all feminists, Amer most American women, you can't tell them anything, but our, our black women take it to an extreme. You can't tell your woman nothing. This is that we're equal and you can't tell a woman what to do. Okay. And that's the end of the song. So very toxic, very uh, disrespectful, very good song. Say nonetheless, it's very catchy. It's, if it has a young feel to it, it's upbeat. Usher's getting back in the game. The man been reigning for the long time. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think of this Usher and Kiki Palmer song, Boyfriend, if you haven't heard the song. I like it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not super sophisticated. It's just um, it's simple, but very, very effective. I think Usher got his point across. I think Kiki Palmer got her point across because she, now she's joined the Black Queens. She's a black queen, but I was, there's black, she's a diva. She, Kiki Palmer's a diva, then there's black queens. Black queens are unruly divas. Well, you know what? I don't know what category she's in, but all I know is she's under the umbrella of a black queen. You can't be told anything. It's all about her. She got her point across. Usher got, her, got his point across. Like I said, very disrespectful, very toxic, very catchy, very soothing. This song was the whole package. Like I said, simple but effective. But y'all let me know. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. 250, I'm gone.